What it do players and trainers, it is your boy the Blazing Squid. As you guys can see, it is the All-Star Weekend. Hopefully I am getting this up on a weekend. I was gonna do All-Star Week, but All-Star Weekend is so much cooler. I'm gonna try to have all these videos out, probably like three a day. So three on Friday, three on Saturday, and um, two or three depending on, cause there's one match missing cause somebody dropped and don't worry about it, just don't worry about it. Uh, so let's see. All right, so we're doing this match, and then if you guys want to know the total results, I'm going to be making a doc with every single battle individually, and a total also sheet. Uh, so this match up here, we have Brayden, as you guys can tell, and we have Jordan. Brayden um, just came off a, he was one of the finalists for the um, Evil League, uh, so he came up so short from the championship, but dude had a really, really solid team. And look at his team now. He has, he's rocking for Jordan, the Night Hill Ago, Mega Pidgeot, which I also had in my uh, LDLs majors. Um, Porygon 2, Cresselia, Drampa, I love using Drampa in, in low tier, I had it for NU, thing is amazing, it could be a, a, a threat for sure, and then Vaporeon, this is a very, very Wally team, um, Jordan might have some um, hard time breaking it, but let's see, Jordan's got Gastrodon this week, he's got uh, Excadrill, he's got um, Garchomp, he's got Girder, he's got Placephalon, and he has Decidueye, so he's bringing green, three ground types, um, if I'm not mistaken, Brayden, uh, Braid, yeah, Brayden team does have Vitini, so I think he probably was prepping pretty hard for Vitini, and Vitini is not gonna come. But without further ado, let's jump into this match. Am I recording? Oh yeah, okay, we are recording. All right, so we know the leads are gonna be Extra Joe and Decidueye. So I mean, Extra Joe, Extra Joe, and Nihiligo. So this is gonna be a a pretty fair first turn. I think Jordan's gonna take this lead without a doubt here. Um, but let's see, let's see what's gonna happen. Are, is, is somebody gonna get scared out? Um, yeah, Braden's gonna, he's gonna switch out. Um, it said Mold Breaker, I'm pretty sure. So nothing resists the earthquake. Yup, ooh, good read. So we'll find out if it's life or if it's banded. Oh. That's not doing as much as I thought it would. That did like legit 60 damage. All right, Rex is gonna go up, which are gonna bring any sashes and potentially Mega Pidgeot. It's gonna hurt with 25%. That Ice Beam is not gonna be doing much. So <laughs> these two bonds are not gonna be doing that much against each other here. He's actually going to switch out probably into the Placephalon. No, Girder. Okay. Okay. Another Ice Beam here. Let's see how much that's doing. It's doing just about the same. It's not that huge in difference. Um, I know Jordan likes to set up, but I don't know if he's going to set up here. Oof. So that's going to hurt. Yup. Ooh. Not the best switch in. Yeah, I guess... He needed it. He needed to get rid of these lefties somehow. Uh, but if it has Moonlight, it's just... Oof. Does he have a switch in for that? Does he have a switch in for Psychic? Yeah, Shadon. I guess that's a mediocre switch in. Uh, There's not much else he could do here. It's Cresselia putting in work. I like it. I like it already. Alright, so let's see. Um, Call Mine. Yep, it has to be... Calm mine with um thing in the back without a doubt man without a doubt um i just want to stay on mute more real quick so toxic okay so finally this thing is going to be on a timer which he probably should have done sooner like sooner than later would have been so much better he, uh, he would have had a much healthier girder um but yeah let's see real quick that's does this battle take that long? It actually does not. I'm surprised. All right, so plus one is special defense drop matters. That special defense drop matters. Now he's kind of forced to switch out. And something's going to have to take something real hard. Well, okay kind of hard-ish. Seriously. Or he gets preserve his Cresselia. No, he's going to let it go down. So Gastron is going to go down, I'm pretty sure. Right? Close enough. Close enough. Okay, so he could stall this out and stay healthy. I don't think he has any grass moves to take on Gastrodon on his team. So he needs to windle down this 
as soon as possible or as much as you can next mm. if you had like heel bell and vaporeon that'd be fantastic speaking of vaporeon speaking of vaporeon indeed as he goes to another recover um he might have toxic him by himself i think yeah he might have toxic himself uh, he does have one toxic community immunity, but doesn't want to take a skull next turn. So let's see. Yep. So we're going to put a toxic on this thing. I think as soon as Gastrodon goes down. Nope. Not sure. Avoids. Might matter. Might not. Depending if he has heal bill or not. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. Kind of hard to tell. Oh. Hidden power goo. I thought this man had no grass moves. What? Oh my. Yo, that is that is solid prep. That is some solid prep. Hidden power grass. Oh, for the gas showed on. Oof. Why? Are you serious, man? Like. Stinky Reddit. Okay, so that was awesome. That was awesome indeed. Gastrodon is gone. Oh my god, and I, I thought Gastrodon was going to stay around a little longer. I really did. Girder, 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 Girder. Girder's not doing much. I don't think it takes a Skull from the range that it's at. I don't think... No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Vaporeon is putting in work. Vaporeon is putting in work. Like... Oh man, I think. Oh wow, actually, you gotta remember the special defense drop ha uh, actually helped a lot too. Actually, there. So, oof. Finally, Decidue is gonna come in. Uh, Decidue, Dr drop like a sap sipper. Actually, Drompa is a sap sipper. Oh no, he's okay. Okay, he probably has the berserk then. He has to be berserk. All right, but I think he can take any hit. Um. Okay, substitute. Not a bad play. Not a bad play. Um. It's gonna be able to go off for a hurricane, but I don't think the Sijuai can touch Mega Pidgeot. Seriously, don't think it can touch him whatsoever. So let's see here. Hurricane is gonna completely land. Uh, he could Swords Dance, but Swords Dance, you would have to like Swords Dance Sucker Punch just to like. No, he has Leaf Blade. Yeah, he has nothing for Mega Pidgeot. Okay. I still does a good chunk. This is about 25% to bring it down to below 50. Uh, so he's going to hard switch out. He has no switch-ins. I think... Hmm. I think this is like... Mega Pidgeot just... Okay, we know that Excadrill is not Scarfed. It was able to switch up his moves. So this plus a Heat Wave obviously is going to knock it out. Um, yep. If it was Akaberry, maybe? Maybe he was Akka, but I don't think he was as uh, he was Akka. Um, obviously, he wasn't Akka. Obviously, she's <laughs> uh, maybe this guy has hidden power ice. No, he's gonna fire off another hurricane that's gonna do good chunk of damage over 50%. Fire blast is gonna connect, expecting what. Wait, what? Wait, Fire Blast for what? I'm just I'm just as confused as you guys. I'm just as confused as you guys. Like seriously. I Wow, Mega Pidgeot, relax. Wow. Well he is gonna connect this. Uh, depending if it's a speed boost or a thing. I, well, he can't like Porygon 2 is too healthy for him to even try to knock it out here. And I think this is, is it right? That's, no, he still has Decidueye. Drompa's gonna come out though, ooh. It's probably like an Assault Vest Drompa. It has to be, right? Oh, it's Scarf, no, oh, wait, no, he wasn't Scarf, he's Specs. I still did a lot of damage. That still did a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, I'm not sure why he went for Energy Ball. Oh, Energy Ball, Energy Ball for the Gastro too. Man, actually, I should I should have drafted Drompa. Drop is a fun mod to use, actually. I should have drafted. Okay, whatever. Is it Sap Sipper? He brought the Sap Sipper! Oh, man. Oh, and it's going to connect the Fire Blast. That right there 
is a good game. Oh man, that was a fun game to watch. Oh my god, I love it. Sap Sipper, man. Oh shoot. Wow, so Brayden, Brayden, man, is gonna take. He's gonna be taking game one. Brayden is taking game one, ladies and gentlemen. Oof. Yo. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. What a game and a half. Seriously, what a game and a half. So, ladies and gentlemen, as mentioned before, that is going to be down below. And I just want to make sure who's getting the point there. That is going to be Team Long Schlong. Schlong. I don't know why the team, the, these teams are called Team Schlong and Team Medium Schlong. Okay, but that's going to be a point for them and actually a, a plus five differential in that case, man. Jeez. So, Medium Schlong is going to. They, they need a 502. They need one. They need one. So with that, players and trainers, you guys are amazing. Stay blazing. Catch you guys in the next video or the one before or whatever video we watch. Peace.